Do you happen to have a problem when you're trying to photo bash clothes on Roblox? Well, honestly, a lot of people I know personally ask me to make a video about this because they do not appear to be the best at photo bashing and you know what? I thought, fuck it, why not release some content about that? So, if you want to photo bash something actually good on Roblox but don't know how, I'm just going to show you how and it's going to be really slow, not really really slow, but not like those other YouTubers who appear to do it at the speed of a thousand fucking miles an hour. Now what do I mean by this? Well, a lot of people told me that most YouTubers who try giving photo bash tutorials do it way too fast for them to even pick shit up. I noticed this from a user in my Discord server by the name of N. I do not know what else he goes by, but it's just literally Nike, I'm assuming. But I am going to, in fact, show you how to do this. So let's say I wanted to make these pants on Roblox. I would, of course, get my template. Okay, everyone has to have their own custom template. It's really easy to make one. If you guys want a video on that too, even though it's extremely easy, I gladly will if you guys put that in the comments. Now, basically, you're just going to want to simply put this shit over the entire template okay now you may be thinking well it's just lazily doing that how is it going to look good well that's why you're going to have to learn to blend things in which i will show you how to do that so overall i'm just going to move this shit to where i want it to be with the right tool of course i'm not on the right tool which is unfortunate but now i am so overall we're going to want to cut out a lot of the white so this is really easy, just a simple eraser tool, you know, simple shit, you're just going to want to erase it. However, the main thing comes later on when you want to actually make these pants. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to blend that in well, so it doesn't look absolutely horrendous. So, obviously we see we have all these indents and creases here, that is not what we want because it's not going to look good. You're going to select the shade of the color of the pants and you go to your opacity tool, and turn it to 15 as your transparency. Maybe put your brush to 10 as its length and you're going to want to blend it all out. By doing this, you're pretty much just making it look more natural. You're making it all fit together a lot more and you may hear my mouse being spammed a lot right now. So, if I'm just simply going over all this shit and I'm probably going to want to up it up to 25 because I noticed this is way, way too little and too slow and maybe even 35 now. So, as you can see, it's blending it all in pretty much because you're just using a very low transparency of the color you were just pretty much using that magic eyedropper tool right here that my Macursor's over known as Color Picker on Paint.net. Paint.net is completely free. It's not like you need to pay for a subscription or anything. It's literally free on the Google Store. I will be showing people how to get that after if you guys still don't know how just by searching it on Google. So, as you can see, it's already starting to look a lot more blended in and I'm going to go back to said image and I'm going to copy and paste it again. I'm gonna make a new layer under said image now and I'm going to go add yet another bit. As you can see, you're gonna to wanna to blend this into as well and not overdo it. Okay, so now we have a pretty good layer or like a pretty good basis here for the left leg and I'm going to want to crop out or if not delete all of the background of this all right and we can go right here and just simply copy and paste that to the left now we have this well you may be thinking where the hell are the shoes where the hell is the shading where the hell is everything else i'm about to get into that right after i finish the right leg I believe me talking about shit. so now we have this okay for the shoes this may be highly unethical but you could go on Roblox and you could take the shoes of another pant, pair of pants if you do not know how to make the shoes, which is very easy to do, but make sure you make it drastically different as creators can DMCA copyright you, which is the last thing you want to happen because people love to DMCA people. As you can see, these random, okay, I don't want to name them, I don't want to copy those actually because the name of the clothes. This seems pretty whack. I want clothes with good shoes that I can like. Overall, if you want to learn to make shoes, I will make a video specifically onto that one. But, as you can see, if I find something like this, I go to RBX Society, which is a very, very 
unique Roblox bot. I can go right here now, find the template of this, and as you can see, I can go right here now and just combine this into one layer. You can combine something by clicking the merge layer down, which is very useful when you are getting into photo bashing. Now I could in fact go right here, and just like so, I can go mess around with this underneath layer because I want to change it up a bit, or at least a good amount. What I'm planning on doing right for here, however, is I'm going to invert the color and I'm going to have a really nice looking pattern for the underside of the leg. Now I do have this right here and I noticed that this template does not have any shoes at all and I really do want something with shoes. Maybe this one would do the job. I'm overall pretty much if you're photo bashing, it's just a work in progress. It's mainly just about trial and error over and over again. And let's hope this one has some shoes. Yes, I mean some... Yes, it does actually. That's pretty good. So now I'm going to want to get to my 25. And I'm going to go to this layer. And I'm just going to delete the underside of this. To the point, it looks pretty good. So now if I were to in fact put this under it now, overall I'm just going to want to erase all of it that is under here. Put this above it now. As you can see we have a pair of shoes now. Now what we could do is merge the layers once again and I'm going to go right here now and simply put, this is kind of like plagiarizing, however you're going to want to change it up a good amount, just so you cannot get DMCA'd. Since a lot of designers have liked to do that, I respect them doing that, it's nothing bad on their side, but if you change it up enough, you're fine. If you, That's just if you don't know how to make shoes, and I do not have the time to make shoes for this video right now, so sorry if anyone somehow gets offended by this as you can see we have this I i'm kind of going to want to get rid of this too because i simply just do not feel like getting dmca okay that's the last thing i want okay i've seen a guy literally get terminated today off of something that was dmca only one piece of clothing yes one piece got him to lose his entire roblox account luckily he did cash out all of his value before that happened but overall this change up the shit a lot and you should be fine that's all you want in the end of it really now the thing that gets even more absurd is there is shading templates now what do you mean shading templates how do you have a shading template for a roblox sure you may ask well it's not really a shading template it's more like a texture template a lot of people i see fail to utilize their blending options the blending options are very very important as you can see if i press additive it suddenly all looks a lot more alive however as you can see this is not properly transparent and if you see if i toy with it just enough and i put it to let's say 40 it suddenly gives it a lot more depth than it originally had and you can now merge that and you have a pretty good layout to do the same thing yet again and overall you would be pretty good to go overall you're just going to want to keep doing this and you're going to want to keep shading everything with sort of texture templates now you may be wondering how can i get these texture templates well it's simply really easy you just have to find any white shirt on roblox that is shaded to an amount you like and as you can see this suddenly looks a lot more detailed than it actually does or should be and now we can combine this and merge it as well not only that but we can go right here and simply rotate this to a good set amount that we like and now Look how crazy this is starting to look. Right the bat, you have a really good design here. And that was just simple right there, photoshopped, photo bashed actually. And what you can do, in fact, if you want to go the extra mile, is you could go to some pants you've made before. I'm going to be uploading this all in my Roblox group known as Hellsaken, by the way. I've moved my group from you lose to Hellsaken. However, if I do go back to some pants I've made, I did have a pre-made belt that I could readily use whenever I want. And that is really simple with the RS tool that RBX Society can provide. So I could go right here now. And I could simply erase absolutely everything when it comes to the belt. Once again, go right here and just delete as much of the stuff as I can to make this the most smooth photo bash possible, but also look absolutely amazing. So not only do we have really good pants now, we also have a really good looking belt. 
and another issue as you can see here is the belt is not properly blended in as well nor shaded what you now you may be wondering how do you shade a belt you know i i you guys probably didn't expect me to shade the belt too but i go extra the mile on absolutely everything and this is really really easy to do because you really want to have all these key details when you are in fact making roblox clothes so now i'm gonna go right here i'm simply going to go copy and paste this and i'm going to put it over now this is not shading the belt i'm just making the texture more readily accessible under the belt so it doesn't go looking really off. As you can see, we have this now. 